Now, one of the things that's an advantage to living that way is you can often end up being able to buy accessories for your technology at a very reasonable cost. Hey there, and welcome to My Man the Maker's electronics channel. Today we're going to talk about legacy technology, and by that I mean the venerable Apple iPad. Uh, Mrs. Maker and I have had this iPad for many, many, many years, and it's served us fairly well. Still works great, powers up just fine, works just fine. We're pretty happy with it. It's getting long in the tooth, but it works just fine. It's even been dropped. As you can see, the frame here is bent. Still works great. So uh, this is an example of what I would call high-quality, high-technology. Our consumption of the iPad is pretty basic. We use it to watch videos. We use it to um, surf the web sometimes. It's a little slow, but it works just fine. And that's one of the things that when you're a maker, you're kind of cursed with. Your things work just fine, and they work just fine for a really, really, really long time. So you end up with technology that's, say, 10 years old. We're still working fine, and will work fine indefinitely until it experiences some sort of catastrophic failure. But you end up with a pile of stuff. One of the things I've always wanted to do was be able to listen to music while taking a shower. I don't know why I want to do this, but I just do. And I've always wanted to do it since I was little. So I used to bring a transistor radio into the bathroom and try to listen to that. But transistor radios don't generate enough power to go over the shower sound. So when I recently decided to pay some attention to this iPad, I thought that maybe using its ability to connect via Bluetooth would give me an opportunity to put a powered speaker in the bathroom that I could connect to either with the iPad or with my phone, should I so choose. And then I hit upon a product for sale that was apparently a docking station for this model iPad, plus a Bluetooth speaker. So I bought it, and that's what we're going to look at today. I bought it for a very low price, and here it is. So this is an alarm clock plus a Bluetooth speaker plus a docking station, theoretically, for iPad or Apple devices. We'll find out. And I received it in the mail today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this thing and give you my initial impressions. I don't even remember the model name of this thing, so we're going to have a little adventure discovering what this is. All I remember is that it's a JBL unit. And, let's, and it's an alarm clock of some kind. So let's have a look and see what's in the box. Without cutting. There we go. So, what we have... What we have is a JBL on beat awake wireless bedroom speaker with Bluetooth, iPod, iPhone, and iPad connectivity. And uh, apparently, uh, Harman has been involved with this uh, device in terms of either its design or its production. So I'm looking forward to having a quick look at this. It's a brand new unit. It never got sold. And the reason why it was so inexpensive is because technology, I think, is, in a sense, moved on. But if you can keep your legacy technology alive, you can do what I did, which was keep an eye open on the market for devices that um, people are trying to get rid of now that they can no longer uh, sell them and are liquidating them. So that's exactly what I did in this situation. So let's try to get this box out of the box. Here we go. And see what's inside this box. I've had JBL equipment in the past. I had a complete um, surround sound system from JBL. I was quite happy with that. And I've also had JBL monitor speakers. I was delighted with the quality of those. So here we go. Uh, we've got what looks like a manual. Okay. And we've got a unit floating between two recycled cardboard spacers. Let's have a look at the box. So we've already seen what's on the box in terms of its uh, messaging. We've got, uh, it says, JBL on beat awake, 
uh, haut-parleur sans fil pour chambre, which means uh, wireless speaker for the bedroom or wireless for the room. Depends what kind of chambre you're talking about. A JBL by Harman. Hear the truth. Okay, fine. There's a beauty shot of the product itself. Bluetooth logo. Made for iPod, iPhone, iPad. And there's an application. JBL Amp Up uh, Gratuit, which means free. Maybe there's some English on this thing somewhere. Oh, yeah. Wireless bedroom speaker. Free JBL Amp Up app available. Uh, and that's pretty much what it says this on the side. We've got connect using Bluetooth, which is my intention. Play your music wirelessly, which is exactly what I want. Diffusez votre musique sans fil. Very nice. And oh, a bunch of uh, specifications and other information. Let's see what it says in English here. Wireless audio streaming for music, movie, and gaming anywhere. Alarm weather. Appointments and favorite music are found at a glance on the JBL Amp Up Amp. Made for iPod Touch, second, third, and fourth generation. iPod Nano, second, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and sixth generation. iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 3G iPad third generation, iPad 2, and iPad. So the chances of this thing being compatible with my iPad are pretty high. Right. All right. So we'll take off the recycled spacer, number one and number two. Oh, this one's heavy. Aha. It's got a power supply inside of it. And let's see. Uh, the power supply is appropriate for my country. That's always handy. And there's something else in there. There's an adapter for Europe. That makes sense considering it's a 220 volt uh, adapter. And I think it's, is it auto ranging? The input is 100 to 240 volts. So in theory, this could be used in the United States. It just doesn't feature the, um, the right plug. And it's supposed to be it's got a thing that says open here, but that open is not moving. So we're not going to worry about it too much because it's the right plug for me. But, uh, ah, you pull it up. There we go. So it just clicks in, and you use your fingernail and pop it up. So if you have um, a need, and then you just, to reseat it, you just pull, push it in and it clicks in. Okay, that's easy enough. So if you, for example, if you were in Europe and you needed to change the plug, it looks like a pretty straightforward process. You just take off the Hong Kong or UK plug and then you push on the plug for continental Europe or vice versa. Pretty simple stuff. There's even an index so you can't put it in backwards or upside down. You, you can only put it in one way. And it kind of can't, it looks like it kind of cantilevers in. So just like that. You put it in, and it clicks in. Very easy. Quick change. Easy, easy, easy. Well, that's great. Nice design. Like it. All right, we'll put this aside now that we've played with it a little bit. We'll put the European plug away because I have no intention of using it. And let's see what the main unit looks like. Here's the main unit. Very attractive. White and black. Okay. And there we are. So, moment of truth is, will it take this iPad? Looks like the answer is a definite yes. All right, well, hey, it's all working out. Let's just put this where we can see stuff. All right, so there's the unit in its glory. I guess the next thing to do would be to power it up and see how it functions. So let's get on with doing that. Installing the power connector on the JBL OnBeat awake is pretty straightforward. You just, well, detaching technology you may have attached to it like I did, 
roll it onto its back. And then you take the power connector. And you plug it in to the appropriate spot. There's a uh, audio in jack here. So you could, in theory, connect this to something that's got an audio out and be able to play music uh, from there through this device. Let's just turn it back on its bottom. OK. All right. And there's a power button here. I'll just make sure that everything is in order at the plug end. Yep. Let's turn this guy on. It turns on. It says Eco. And we've got, here's the dim function. We have bright, medium, and dim. So we'll put it to bright. And that's, let's see what else we can do with this thing. Let's connect the iPad to it. Look at that. Well, that's very nice. Sounded good. And there we are. The JBL on beat seems to be working just fine. Uh, the, the time actually happens to be correct on this thing now. Uh, well, what are we going to do with this thing now? Now that we have the iPod installed in the JBL on beat awake unit. The thing you should do is make sure it's on. There's an eco mode and an on mode. The other thing is you should probably check the mode. Uh, there's three input modes. At the very bottom here there's a Bluetooth indicator. There's also a line in indicator and then there's the direct connect indicator. We're going to use that one first because the iPad is connected directly to the JBL on beat awake. So let's turn this machine on. Open her up. And I've queued up a, a jazz YouTube video. Let's see if this works out. Well, that sounds pretty good. I'm liking that a lot. So the iPad seems to work just fine when directly connected to the base. And it's a charging base. So that means that you could leave it in there indefinitely and just use it to play music and charge your iPad, which is my intention. Uh, the iPad doesn't really live anywhere else. It used to live in uh, this little stand and ha with a cable connecting it. But if that's not necessary anymore, that's actually a good thing. Well, let's go over the connectivity options for the JBL OnBeat Awake. There are three input modes which you select with this button right here. The first one is Line In. And what I've done is I've connected a phone to the Line In connector there. The second uh, input option is Direct Connect for, from whatever device is connected to the port on top of the JBL OnBeat Awake. And the third mode is Bluetooth mode. Now we've tested the docking mode. That seems to work OK. We can just select that now. The other thing I'm going to do is turn on the line in. So here we go. Here's line in playing some uh, YouTube video about Darth Maul. Here's the docking mode input, which is playing some jazz from New York. And the last mode is Bluetooth mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this phone to connect via Bluetooth mode. Now that we've got the JBL OnBeat Awake installed and two of its audio sources hooked up, let's give them a try. This is a video about Darth Maul. That's on line in. This is New York Jazz. That's playing on the Direct Connect port. So here is the audio for the Darth Maul video playing on this device. Next.
we have some jazz playing on this device. So the third mode, which is Bluetooth mode, I've set up on this little device, uh, another cell phone. And what we're going to do is we're just going to turn Bluetooth off and start fresh. So let's turn Bluetooth on. Bluetooth is now on. We go to settings. We go to Bluetooth. And we click on it's connected to this device. So we're going to disconnect. Now it's disconnected. So this is what you would see, for instance, if you were to just come in and click on Bluetooth. And you'll see the OnBeat Awake device. So we click on it. It's connecting. It's done its little handshake. And now we can go to some classical music and play it. which is Holst the Planet's Mars Movement. Which was just ended. Let's roll it back to a, a fun spot. Many people say that, uh, including John Williams, says that this particular piece of music influenced the themes for both the Empire and Darth Vader. So that's my review of the JBL OnBeat Awake Bluetooth-enabled speaker. Oh. I'm delighted. It's got three different sound input modes. It's got direct in using a regular uh, double-ended 3.5 millimeter plug and socket, which is what we use for headphones on most cell phones. It's got a direct connect through the dock port here for any number of Apple devices, mostly legacy devices, but that's what I've got and it seems to work just fine. And the third mode is Bluetooth, which works with any Bluetooth-enabled uh, device, ancient, legacy, or modern. As long as they have a Bluetooth module attached to them the, uh, and can successfully negotiate a Bluetooth connection, they can be used to drive audio through the JBL on beat awake. So I'm very happy this has worked out just fine. I've got a new device here that can produce music from three different inputs, if I should so desire and I can achieve my dream of having decent audio in the shower because the bathrooms never have a sound system in them. But now I do. And I'm really looking forward to it. Well, I hope you liked this video. I certainly enjoyed putting it together for you. If you did, please subscribe, please like, and please comment. I like receiving comments. I, th I find them very encouraging. And remember, if I can do this, you can do it too. And that's the point of these videos. I hope you like this one. So until next time, take care and keep making. <laughs>